there has been a resolution, um, duly and correctly signed by the governor and countersigned by the prime minister, and also published in the uh, National Gazette, uh, that um, after the first uh, resolution was um, made up and published, a small error of a change of one date was um, oversight was discovered. In the meantime, the corrected uh, resolution Landsbyslait has been issued and has also been published in the uh, National Gazette. Subsequently, uh, the dates have been amended for certain actions to take place. And I can inform you that um, according to the relevant changes, the registration of political parties by the Electoral Council now I've been informed will have to take place on the 9th of November uh, 2015 and thereafter the process will be started of uh, the, the, the necessary preparations for new parties by the Electoral Council. Um, we had a meeting with the Census Office together with uh, Judicial Affairs and uh, the Ministry of General Affairs in the preparation of the elections. Um, Census Office has started the process of um, getting the manpower in place and also the relevant information of ordering the voting <coughs> material for the voting cards, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the voters registry will be uh, closed off on the, officially on the 23rd of November, but considering um, Article 133 of the voting ordinance, uh, that um, the official closing date is the 22nd, but taking into consideration it's on a Monday, on a Sunday, the 23rd of November 2015 will be the closing of the uh, voters' registry. The um, appointment of the Central Bureau uh, Central Voting Bureau will also take place on the same day, which is the 23rd, because the 22nd is a Sunday. Um, after the people would, the voters would have the right to approach the court to add their name on the uh, voters' registry. Um, <clears throat> on the postulation day is the 22nd of December. 2015, the uh, support of the uh, candidates list, we have been informed, will start on the 23rd of December, the day after. And um, to go down the line, um, the, the, the election is scheduled for the 9th of uh, February 2016. The other uh, information is basically the dates according to the dry book, the plan of action, that um, is basically standard, taking in consideration the timing and the um, laws that regulates the timing of the election and also of the um, electoral law. Criminal activities, and um, I can announce that the cooperation of Aruba Curacao, the RST, the Conical Kamara should say has led to the forming of uh, teams to tackle uh, to tackle the crime, and they will be investigating about 17, um, 17 cases uh, that gave us prospect of resolving those uh, criminal activities that have taken pa taken part in the recent uh, past. Um, the uh, joint patrols uh, are continuing, uh, and they are proven to be effective uh, until now. Um, and we will continue with the joint patrols uh, to ensure as much as possibility the safety of our citizens. Um, <clears throat> uh, on another note, uh, uh, I can uh, also um, uh, mention that uh, the camera project, the camera surveillance project, that uh, is going to play a crucial role in uh, also helping secure the, security, secure the safety on, uh, on St. Martin that the financing for the start of that, that project has been, uh, has been secured and um, that hopefully uh, the cooperation between the police force and TALIM will lead to a speedy startup of that, uh, pro of that, uh, of that project. 
Um, <clears throat> um, also has been secured the, um, the purchase of the so-called Sorama Builder building in uh, Orange, uh, Orange Grove. Uh, that is a very important uh, <coughs> uh, piece of the puzzle of getting our, uh, our <coughs> police organization up to par because in, uh, it is the intention to uh, build a forensics lab in that uh, building, uh, to have the uh, <coughs> shooting range uh, in that building, the uh, training um, uh, rooms, uh, for self-defense and, and other activities that law enforcement uh, agents uh, are involved with. Uh, <clears throat> the training field for the canines, uh, the, uh, the, um, the, the space for weapons that have been uh, confiscated, the uh, cars that have been confiscated, but also the very important uh, central um, uh, observation, uh, camera observation space and, and uh, melt camera for, uh, for the police. Um, with this, um, <coughs> with this, uh, we can uh, we can move force move forward forcefully in the coming uh, in the coming in the coming period uh, as far as uh, equipping the police force uh, is con uh, is concerned, and it could also lead to um, uh, savings on the expenditures that we are doing at this moment, because we have to send people away so many times for these aspects of the, of the task of the uh, of the police force. What you crave, life just gets so good. KFC, so good for everyone. Anybody bingo? Nobody bingo. has been faithfully serving the communities of St. Martin, powering your home and our economy. Come rain or shine, our qualified team of professionals are working hard 24 hours a day to provide you and your family with safe, reliable electricity and water. We use the latest technologies and test our products daily to maintain the highest international standards. Our friendly staff is always there to assist you, whether in person, over the phone, or online. We are committed to constantly improving our products and services, making them more efficient, effective, and environmentally friendly to serve you better today and our next generation of clients tomorrow. GEBE, powering a brighter future. Our friend Mega Wadi is here with tips to save you energy. One, turn your air code temperature up. Two, use a ceiling fan instead. Three, buy energy saving products. Save some green with NVGEBE. Great pleasure of having you here this afternoon with us once again to go to another chapter. When I say another chapter, it is not easy. Carnival is one of the biggest cultural events on Frank St. Martin, and myself and the members of the Carnival Committee is taking it out real good and getting it to come alive and fix and morning. It's not an easy task. With the few sponsors that we do get, we try our best to make it happen. And as we always say, Carnival is a cultural event, but it's not only belongs to the folks that organize it. Carnival is something that belongs to the general public. Therefore, 
everyone should get involved. It will be better if you see more than one business agent and friends and Martin get involved in this cultural event. Also, if you could get all the different villages and all the different cultures, different community take part in our culture, I think we will get it to the level level that we want to get it to. It's not an easy task. We all know there's a financial problem out there today. But if you try and you decide you want to do something for your culture or for your country, don't ask what your country could do for you. Ask what you could do for your country by joining, getting involved, making it happen. Don't wait till the event already gone and then say, next year I will be there. That's too late. Every year is more or less the same song. Get involved now and when it comes to reality and being successful, at least you could say you was a part of history. Let us join hands together. It's never too late. And make Carnival 2016 greater than ever. Thank you. Before organizing this press conference, sent us flyers that we was able to distribute in all our different trade shows from June until today in different markets, in the European market, and the Canadian market, and the USA market, and also in the Caribbean market. All those that travel went and distributed the flyers to all the different clients, all the different tour operators, and all the different travel agencies. So the message is out there. We will make sure we keep on point with the team to be able to promote as, as most as possible. This year also, they didn't mention it, but they also created a new logo that is very catchy, that is very colorful, and I definitely uh, receive a lot of different positive comments on the flyer and the different logo. It's very looking professional. I think we are now uh, getting into the gear and getting into the program on promoting this event as soon as possible with the dates and everything. So we wanted, as tourism office, uh, welcome the team and, and thank them for the effort and the job well done that they are doing in the community. And also um, to reassure that the tourism office is also a strong partner with the carnival. And as we can help, we will be able to help you guys as much as possible. First of all, I want to thank the committee for a job well done. Of course, uh, we are seeing uh, different evolution in terms of the end of the carnival. I think we have to continue in this um, direction. And of course, uh, as I said, uh, the collectivity has engaged and has always engaged in financing the uh, carnival. Uh, we have um, given a subvention of average 100,000 euros. It's because in, um, we are concerned about carnival as part of our culture. Um, as, you, as you notice the date um, when the carnival is beginning and when it's finishing is one of the events that is, is on, a, on a couple of days on the island. And I think um, uh, as government and as um, in the innovation we have to make sure to uh, see how we can boost this event. And as Mr. Julian was saying, it's in a high season and it's a calendar event that we have to see how we could uh, manage to enhance this activity. So once again, uh, thanks for the Carnival Committee and have a good time. Well, you know, Fire on the Foot is back and this time we call it Fire on Fire. You know, we, we took a break in the summer and we told our fans the blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. And now we're back with a real fire. Um, for the first time, we're going to have Edwin Yearwood and Crossfire under the tent. You know, if you hear Edwin Yearwood and Crossfire, you know what time it is. That's why we call it Fire on Fire. You know, the 26th of December, like you say, it's Boxing Day. It's going down under the tent at Port de Plaisant. Tickets are on sale already. You know, people could go and get the tickets early because, you know, because of the fire hazard, we can't leave everybody in. So you don't want to get caught in the cold. So get your tickets now. You're going to have also CD ranking, DJ Biggers and myself, Mr. Rude, playing the music. And once again, Edwin Yearwood and Crossfire will be in the house. It's going to be a crazy dance, one never to be forgotten.
So what, do you have some local bands that be participating Well, basically, it's the local bands in this case is CD Rankin, Mr. Road, and DJ Biggers. And we have a guest, which is a treat for the extra tight fans for Boxing Day. It's Crossfire. Normally, we don't have any bands on the show, but you know, the fans and the people bring us to where we are. So we decided to just take this risk. Actually, ain't no risk. It's a gift to the people, a Christmas gift from Extra Tight. Why Boxing Day? Well, you know, normally we always do everything on the last Saturday, you know. So Boxing Day this year fall on the last Saturday, so it's a perfect date. <laughs> Let's talk a little about the friends that are here. You come to a press conference or some shows that you're going to have on the front side as you do shows on the front side. Give us an insight of what exactly are you going to bring on the front side campus? Well, basically, we're going to be bringing something different. Um, we feel very honored to be invited by the Friends, uh, Friend Carnival Committee to participate in their event. You know, on the Dutch side, we started three years ago, and we built a serious relationship with the SCDF, with the corporate sponsorship, and of course, not, not less than anything else, the fans. So we took the opportunity to say, okay, we're going to do it. We're going to come over here and do our best to contribute to the event, you know. Um, we're going in a different direction. We're going to be going into the reggae. I myself have been busy with reggae for over eight years or more. You know, I, I have endless reggae hits in the industry with my artist Ziggy, ex-artist then Ziggy Ricardo and Michael X, you know, and I've been around all the big reggae artists. So the name of the event is Pure Reggae, Music for Your Soul. The date is the 6th of February, and there's something very special about that date, what people don't know yet. That date is Bob Marley's birthday. So it's going to be a tribute to Bob Marley, and we're going to be putting down, just like every extra tight event, a memorable event, A-class production, and A-class artist. So, friend side, get ready, we come in. It's been said that behind every door, possibility awaits. How much possibility depends on which door you open first. Every day, we help our customers discover the possibilities in their lives. It all starts with a conversation. Scotiabank. Anybody bingo? Nobody bingo. In my opinion, everything is perfect and you would be great for the job. But I see here that there's a two-year gap in your resume. What did you do? I was hospitalized for mental illness. Oh, mental illness? I've undergone treatment and I have a wonderful family that supports me. Well, that is good news. No, no, it's fine. I'm recovered. We'll contact you, okay? For a better understanding of mental health and what you can do to stop mental health stigma, please go to the Mental Health Foundation's website at www.mhf-sxm.com um, Here we have a very sick baby. This is a travel incubator. We usually use this if we have babies to fly out off island off from St. Martin. So here is a baby with an IV with some um, cords there attached to the monitor. And in case the baby would need oxygen or extra help with his breathing, we have oxygen and air here that is attached to the machine. We have a, a machine there <coughs> attached. That's our ventilator that is portable that we use to 
fly with the babies in an air ambulance. So why the baby would have to be flying to uh, for, somewhere else? For further medical treatment. Our neonatal ICU is medium care, so we, does, we don't um, give high intensive neonatal care. So those that we cannot do in the hospital, we transport them to some other bigger hospitals like in Curaçao, Colombia, Santo Domingo. It depends upon where is um, where is the hospital available and which hospital with the insurance company will cover for the for the patient. Do you have that uh, sort of the cases happen here at the yes. medical center? Yes, we have good bit of cases. Usually, maybe um, around four five times a year, we transport babies off island. Usually, in Santo Domingo. We transport them or Curacao. Very rare Colombia. As I said, it depends like where is uh, the availability of the hospital and the insurance company. And we have uh, we collaborate. There are doctors that are collaborating with the flight. There's the air ambulance team we have here in Saint Martin and those in Colombia and Santo Domingo. They come to take the baby. Uh, from our unit. Rio, where a patient came in by ambulance, for instance, or either crashed by us, who had a cardiac arrest. They have no pulse at the moment, no heart rate, and no breath. We place them, either they come inside an auto pulse. An auto pulse is uh, a machine that gives compressions manually by machine. We don't have to do the, the compressions anymore. They give by 32, meaning 30 compressions, and we have to give ventilation as in breaths too. The patients come in. The patient comes in not on the auto pulse. So, this is the auto pulse. We have somebody who has to do medication. We assign somebody at the beginning of the shift who has to do medication, who has to do comp um, compressions, and who has to do ventilation. ventilation. Now, I'm the person who is doing compressions. So I have to make sure, bring the auto pulse, and also align the patient on the auto pulse. So we have to bring the auto pulse for wherever it is on the stand. We lift the patient up, and then somebody has to push the patient under the auto pulse and we have areas where the patient has to align if the patient not on this alignment it won't do the compression and it won't read yeah the patient is on the auto pulse somebody has to put on the auto pulse which has an on and off button then we close the light back we have to pull it up in the air and then rest it on the patient. And then my colleague who is doing compressions has to start off the machine as the machine analyzes the patient's weight and if the patient is on the right area of the outer pulse. Yes? The yes, you see, we place it right directly across between the nipple, between the chest, and if it's not on the right area, it won't start like this. So right now it's doing 30 compressions for us. The machine stops on its own because we have it set to that 32. It stops at 30, and it lets you know when you have to ventilate. This is the ambu bag. which is filled with oxygen. We put it to the oxygen bottle and we place it on the, pa the patient's mouth. You want to do that? And this is how we're going to give ventilation. This is how we give breaths. Once the ventilator starts, once you start giving compression, they have time to give you two see, breaths. It's saying ventilate. And it starts back on its own. Yeah. So 30, the, the same compressing, yeah, 30, and then after it will stop for the two breaths which will tell you here ventilate and then you have to use this to give the two breaths you place it over the mouth and the nose you lift the head and you squeeze two breaths 
and then it will start automatically. It will give you time again to start compressions. It gives you about two seconds to do breaths. So what you're trying to explain me here, you no more longer need to do your hand to pump a patient. If this doesn't work, we don't have to do it necessarily. We do have limits or indications for the autopulse. We can't use it on pediatric patients. We can't use it on elderly. I can't tell you from which age up, but we can tell on how, what, what a patient can take and by weight. Yeah, I'm, I'm Franklin Joseph, the manager of Island Cooking Gas. Um, we're here just uh, displaying some of our fire prevention uh, items, mainly fire extinguishers we have in display right now. We have a, a host of uh, different size fire extinguishers from your regular ABC powder fire extinguishers to your more specialized carbon dioxide fire extinguishers, which is to uh, my right. And we have also specialty fire extinguishers um, towards the bottom mainly water misc, wet chemical, and foam. Um, so we're here displaying our arrangement of fire extinguishers. Um, a lot of folks know us for uh, cooking gas, but in addition to cooking gas, we also carry a large range of fire um, prevention equipment. And most, mostly what you see here is the Amorex, where the Amex distributor, local Amex distributor, so all the fire extinguishers that we do distribute, is the Amorex brand but we also certify to fill and service all type of fire extinguishers in the market so right here you see a large range of uh, fire extinguishers plus we have brochures explaining different types because what you see here is not only what we have there's a catalog filled with other specialty fire extinguishers that may not be on the table